Okay, I just got a fair bit of motivation by my beloved or, or guy, not beloved guy. I miss I'm 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 here not to confess that I'm loving I I'm in love with some guy, but I mean my beloved person on the internet that I follow and I love him I mean I follow all all things he do and he does amazing things and he just gave me she's, she, he keep just giving me a uh, pretty good and uh, large piece of uh, let's call it kicking the ass and I, I'm here I'm uh, just found my, I've just found my time to practice my English and the thing he says uh, he goes like the only thing that matters about becoming fluent English speaker that's when you speak no other fluff matters and if you spend like I don't know half an hour one hour two hours practicing by reading or writing or listening to some fluff on the internet it's not going to give you some uh, strategic pushes for your fluency unless you open your mouth and speak and that's what I'm doing right now. In the very, in the very beginning of this video, should I kind of stay in the rug? I know I kind of misused some uh, wrong, uh, uh, misused some sounds, and I put those sounds in the wrong places. And that's because I practice in the moment. I don't compose fucking script for my incoming video. And within making this video, I don't have a particular plan that I follow. I only have my mind create a thing inside me and as I'm, as I'm speaking another thing appears in my mind and I'm about to sound it out in the, on the uh, in the successive, mo successive moment uh, of the current moment in which I'm gonna speak and I lay it on my tongue and I sound it out and that's how it goes and the only the only thing that matters here in this premise of learning English if you're truly uh, want to become an English speaker, a great English speaker, the only thing that matters here in this world of fluency is your ability to speak, it's your ability to express yourself in whatever situation you might occur, just to speak, open your mouth and speak. And uh, this ratio of 2080 20, correspondence C, you have to probably spend must, uh, must your uh, free time by speaking and uh, that goes to 80% correspondence and only around or even less 20% you should be uh, practicing by listening to some incoming incomes incoming material I call it incomes and outcomes outcomes goes to 80% uh, amount of your practice and your uh, incomes incomes uh, they mean literally like <clears throat> uh, 20 percent when you receive materials you process them in your mind you learn something new and you're going out uh, literally you're going out and uh, having your thing in mind bearing that 80 percent amount of your uh, time uh, what you want to be uh, spent by practicing only this amount of 80 percent matters when you practice spent uh, keep bear, uh, bear in this in mind or uh, keeping it perspe in perspective these 20 20 80 percent correspondence uh, spend 80 80 percent of your time by practicing when you speak and only uh, 20 percent if so maybe even less uh, spend it by listening and or uh, advancing your vocabulary whatever learning grammar points and or uh, advance your in, in advancing your English advance in your English learning that way only that way is gonna give you some drastic and or even a fundamental improvement in your English if you're a true learner of your beloved English as I am as me and that's my short video shoot off tonight if I uh, use something correctly I don't fucking care because I speak I speak and that's fucking it and be practicing just never quit your right tracks of following English be uh, just aware about what's cooking in the world of English and uh, learn yourself. No one else matters unless you take your time and practice by speaking. That's been Alex making things for you. Thanks for your attention. Participate in my life by subscribing to my channel. I'll be pleased to hear that uh, feedback from you in the comment section down below if you will. And uh, see y'all. Bye.